always said that you don't get too high after a, a win and too low after a defeat. Um, but does it still surprise you at all that you can go from you know so much praise after Leeds and, and Newcastle to then losing one game and then suddenly it, maybe from the outside appears doom and gloom? Does that, I mean, does that that pendulum swinging so quickly ever surprise you? No, it doesn't surprise me. Of course, uh, I've got my job, uh, and we do our job. We, uh, you, you tend to in the media, you tend to uh, get uh, judged by uh, by the behaviours and the outcomes rather than than the intentions. And of course, it's black and white. And we. We go into the game with good intentions. We make changes with good intentions. Uh, we go into a tackle with good intentions. We play a pass with good intentions. It's always the outcome that decides what headline uh, that we'll, we'll see. So, and very, very rarely is the game either fantastic or really, really bad. It's, uh, it, it just hovers about uh, uh, good or uh, not good enough. So, um, we uh, we know that the the ex- expectations are high and the performance level we expect more of ourselves as well the the performance wasn't uh, up to our standard Can I just check about Jesse? Uh, obviously, an awful lot of attention on him after what happened in midweek. He's going back to West Ham um, with all the obvious connections there. W- where exactly is he at in terms of his of his contract and his future at United? Uh, he's got one this season left of his contract. Where, uh, of course, the club is talking to him and his his dad, and um, we see him as a Man United player in the future as well. Uh, Jesse has come back into back into us after a great spell at West Ham. He showed his qualities. He's back into the England squad. He scores goals for England. And we really uh, want to see the best of Jesse this season, and we hope to uh, to see him, and we we support him, and uh, we hope to uh, keep him keep him here with us. He's a he's a red through and through.